everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm here to read you another Llama Llama story because we are having Llama Llama week and it's been great. And tonight is one of my favorite Llama Llama books because you know, I've told you before, Miss Dorothy is a grandma now. I'm a grandma. I have a grandbaby. And this story is about Llama Llama and his grandparents. And it's called Llama Llama, Gram and Grandpa. Llama Llama, Gram and Grandpa. This is a story about Llama Llama going on a sleepover at Grandma and Grandpa's house. That's a really brave thing to do. I wonder how things go when Llama gets to Grandma and Grandpa's house. We're going to have to get into this book and find out what kind of adventure he has with Grandma and Grandpa. Are you ready to get into another Llama Llama book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we Llama Llama Graham and Grandpa by Anna Judney. I'm a llama big big day. It's a first a special stay. Pack up clothes and PJ's tight. Llama's going overnight. <gasps> Llama's gonna go have a sleepover. Who will take good care of Llama? Llama Llama's Graham and Grandpa. Bag and fuzzy in the car. Buckle up. The drive seems far. Looks like Llama's got everything you need to go stay at Grandma and Grandpa's. Hugs and kisses. Big hellos. Mama loves you. Off she goes. There goes Mama. And Llama's staying with Grandma and Grandpa. A glass of milk. A yummy snack. Now it's time to go unpack. Mama's picture in the frame. Different. Also, just the same. He's looking at a picture of his mama when she was younger. Take out socks and pants and book. Put the jammies on the hook. Feeling strange away from Mama. <gasps> oh no! Where is Fuzzy Llama? He doesn't have his Fuzzy Llama to sleep with. I think he left it in the car. Llama dear, are you okay? Llama doesn't want to stay. Uh oh, Llama's very upset that he forgot his Fuzzy. Grandma says, let's go outside. Climb up on, pretend to ride. Tractor, gardens, grass to mow. Lana's having fun, but oh, Fuzzy is still left at home. Maybe Fuzzy feels alone. Lana's having fun, but he's having a hard time not thinking, thinking about Fuzzy. Grandpa's workshops, lots to do. Wood and hammers, nail and glue. Lana makes a little chair. It's for Fuzzy. Who's not there? <clears throat> he made such a nice little chair, but Fuzzy's not there to sit in it. Time for dinner. Help get ready. Carry dishes. Hold them steady. Grandma's house has different food. Something squishy. Something stewed. Llama tries it, and it's good. Would you like more? Llama would. Dinner's over, time for bed. Llama wants to wait instead. Grandpa says, let's see the stars. Nighttime shows us where they are. Oh, they went outside to see all the beautiful stars. Take a bath, then comb and brush. Settle in for stories. Hush. Finish books and get a kiss. Llama dear, now what is this? Grandma's wondering why Llama looks so sad. Llama's lip begins to quiver. Llama starts to shake and shiver. Llama needs his fuzzy near. But fuzzy Llama isn't here. Uh-oh, Llama starts throwing a fit. Wait a minute, stay right here. Grandpa leaves, then reappears. Where did Grandpa get? 
When Grandpa was a little boy, he also had a special toy. Big or little, young or old, a llama needs someone to hold. Oh, Grandma had a fuzzy llama too. He's going to let llama use it tonight. A grandma kiss, a grandpa hug, feeling cozy, settled, snug. Llama, llamas, not alone. This is home. Away from home. Well, that was very, very special. I felt really sad for Llama when he realized that he didn't have his toy to sleep with because I know how much he loved it. But Grandpa had one that he could sleep with and Llama Llama had such a good time with Grandma and Grandpa that he realized that even when he wasn't at his home, he felt like he was at home because being with Grandma and Grandpa can be just as special as being at your own home. Grandma and grandpas love you so much and they would do anything to give you a good time when you come to their house. I know that because I'm a grandma and that's what grandma and grandpas do and I am so glad that Llama was able to calm down and go to sleep and feel safe and secure at grandma and grandpa's house. This was a good book. I love reading this in the middle of Llama Llama week. This was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it too and I hope that you get to spend some time with your or grandma and grandpa. You know, grandmas and grandpas are very special. They love you so much and they want to take care of you just like your mom and dad. You know, because they used to take care of your mom and dad when they were little. Isn't that crazy? I think tonight that we should pray for our grandmas and grandpas. We should pray that they're healthy and happy and that we get to see them more. Would you pray with Miss Dorothy about that? All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for our grandmas and grandpas and for how much they love us and for how they take care of us and want to watch over us and have fun with us. Now please watch over grandma and grandpa and help them to get a good night's sleep. Please keep them healthy and strong and help us to see them as often as we can. In Jesus name, amen. All right, Llama, off to bed for you. It's time for you to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, tucked in, give mom and dad and grandma and grandpa if they're there lots of hugs and kisses and get ready for a good night's sleep and remember the next time that you're at grandma and grandpa's house one of the best things that you can do to show them how much you love them obey and obey right away and then come back and see miss dorothy i'm going to be sitting right here waiting to read a book to you bye thanks for reading with miss dorothy I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.